Well, hey folks, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living, and welcome to my new series this winter called Food Prepping for Regular People. I know a lot of times we get intimidated by the word prepping because it brings up those images of either the zombie apocalypse or an unsafe food supply or a big emergency. And there's, those are all really good reasons to be prepared to have a lot of healthy food on hand, but I feel like it leaves out the regular people. There's plenty of reasons why having food prepped, healthy food prepped and stored can help out people on a day-to-day -day regular basis. And so I'm gonna share with you my adventure, my journey in getting started with food prepping. Basically, food prepping is just having healthy, nourishing foods readily available, having a good supply of them on hand at all times. It's not, it doesn't have to be a 20 year food supply or a giant stockpile in an underground bunker to be food prepping. And I'm gonna go over topics like freeze drying, dehydrating, pickling, fermenting, uh, maybe canning, not sure, but there's gonna be a lot of different kinds of topics, even practical things like how to do it with a small kitchen. What appeals to me about food prepping is going to the grocery store a whole lot less, uh, having fresh, healthy foods around at all times, and just less waste. L wasting less food, I think, is a great reason to get into this. So I'm starting this series to show you how I'm doing this in my own household with a small kitchen, just to show you where how regular people can do this. There's two things that hold people back. You know, one is where to start. You know, where do you where do you get started in all of this? And for me, there was three things that stood out. My number one challenge in the kitchen was having healthy meals already made or just really quick and easy, like having them in the freezer. And we had limited freezer space. It's always full with foods from the grocery store, so I didn't have a lot of place to put my leftovers. So that was the thing I was really struggling with and food prep, I could see where that would be a solution. Number two was, I was always running out of ingredients for my recipes. So just basic stuff like potatoes or tomatoes or onions and shallots, like things I just don't always have on hand or fresh spices, even less common items like cream cheese and hummus, just to have those around for snacks. It was a lot easier when I started putting in some food prep and um, having those in storage. And then number three, my other big challenge, even though I'm a nutritionist, having more fruits and vegetables in my diet every day, that was a big struggle. You know, I was interested in replacing chips and popcorn and candy with more tasty fruit and vegetable snack ideas. So when you try to figure out where to get started on all this, that's the question I would ask. What are your biggest challenges in the kitchen and how can food prepping help you with that? But I'll show you this, this is my other big challenge. This is what stops a lot of people, is the idea that you're gonna need a ton of storage. I'm gonna show you how I transformed my kitchen, just my small little kitchen with these cupboards into a more of a storage area for some of these prepped foods. The big barrier I was running into was, and it kept me from starting, was a lack of space. And I felt like I needed either a dedicated pantry or a deep freezer or an underground bunker, or even just a larger kitchen just to do food prep and storage. Because I was able to rearrange some things and make quite a bit of space for myself. I mean, who's really using the top shelves in these cupboards, you know what I mean? Like, what's up there even? Do you just have stuff that you haven't touched in a couple of years? Uh, I ended up boxing up two cases of wine glasses. I don't even know how we collected all of those, but they were just from you know, just things we kept moving around and like putting back in the cupboard and we just didn't need that in the kitchen. Now that could go in the shed in case we ever needed them, but they don't need to be taking up valuable space in this kitchen. One key thing I did do was I redesignated my corner cupboard, my lower corner cupboard, it's a Lazy Susan. Really, it was only being used for baking items and storing extra canned goods like beans or pumpkin. Uh, but I figured I could store those things out of reach in a less convenient, higher shelf and repurpose the easily accessible corner cupboard for my daily cooking ingredients and ready to eat meals, something that's a lot more practical. So it's still a work in progress, but I'm slowly optimizing the flow in my kitchen and it's uh, definitely including the preserved foods. So these were the very few steps that I took to get started and you get to ask yourself the big questions of what are you doing this for and where can you start putting things? Where can you add some organization into your kitchen? So I feel like anyone can do this. Prepping is not just for the apocalypse. 
some of the best things that come out of food prepping is that you're gonna have healthier foods on hand more readily. You're gonna have things properly preserved for a longer period, so you're gonna have less food waste. So if this is something you'd like to know more about, definitely subscribe to be notified of my upcoming videos where I go into different topics. Next week, I'm gonna show you how I get rid of my leftovers in a non-wasteful way. But certainly drop me some comments of topics you wanna see or things you wanna learn more about. If I do have degrees in human nutrition though, so I am an expert in that topic. If you wanna learn more about nutrition, I'm not an expert canner or an expert freeze dryer yet. But I think that's what's gonna be cool about this is that I'm starting as a beginner, I'm gonna be showing you how I figure things out as a beginner in a small scale. We have a small family of three, we have a small kitchen, and this is really small scale, but I wanna make it really practical. Definitely excited about this adventure just to see not only how it reshapes my kitchen, but also my cooking skills and our eating habits as a household. And uh, definitely have some goals for down the road as we get into larger scale gardening. It'll be definitely practical to preserve the harvest that way. For now, I have some potatoes to cut. <laughs> so we'll see you in the next video, guys.